Okay, so let's move on to the next question. The diagram shows the line 2y equal to x plus 5. So this is the line 2y equal to x plus 5. Now, y equal to, this one is the curve, as we can see right here. Now, which intersect at the points A and B, BAM and BAM, as we can see clearly on the diagram. Now, part 1, find the x value of A and B. So pretty easy, point of intersection we solve by using simultaneous equation. So here we have y, we can replace y in this. You have 2 times y, y is also x squared minus 4x plus 7 has to be x plus 5, as you can see here, 2y, this. x you will have 2x squared minus 8x plus 14 have to be x plus 5. 2x squared minus 9x plus 9 have to be 0. Now we can factorize and see what happens. That will be 2x, x, 9 is 3 times 3, right? To get minus 9, we have to have minus 6, minus 3 x will be 1.5, x will be the value of 3. This is 1.5 and this will be 3. Obviously because 1.5 comes before 3, this will be the point A and this will be the point B. So the x value of A will be 1.5 and the x value of B will be 3. Again, if you guys don't know how to solve a quadratic equation, you can always use the formula to solve for the value of x. Now for part B, we have to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at B. So, we have to find the equation of the tangent at B. Now we understand, to find the equation of tangent, which is a straight line, we must find the gradient of tangent, which is simply dy by dx. That is, 2x minus 4. At the value of B, B dx value is equal to 3. Replace, you will have 6 minus 4, that will be 2. So now we have a passing point, B, which is uh, 3. What is the y value? Replace back in your equation. So here we have uh, 3 plus 5 is 8 divided by 2 should be 4. This is x and y value. And we have the gradient. We can find the equation pretty easily. So y minus its corresponding value over x minus its corresponding value should be the gradient. Then we cross multiply. You have y minus 4 has to be 2x minus 6. So y will be 2x minus 2. That is my equation of the tangent at the point B y equal to 2x minus 2. Again, I do apologize for the noise. I do not control that. Uh, it always happens, so I apologize for that. Now for part C, uh, we have to find the acute angle in degrees correct to 1 dp between this tangent and the line there. So pretty easy. The tangent was found to be y equal to 2x minus 2, and the line 2y equal to this, plus this. So we have to find the gradient for this line. We have to divide by 2, make this become subject, that will be half x plus 5 over 2. Now you can see for this tangent the gradient was 2 and for this line the gradient was half. So we have to use a gradient to find the angle. Angle will be tan inverse of the angle 2 minus tan inverse of the angle half. That will be modulus. So tan inverse of 2 minus tan inverse of 0 0.5. That should be 36.9 degrees for your answer. Okay, so this is how you find the, the angle between two lines by using the gradient. Now part two, we have to find the set of, set of values of k for which the line this does not intersect this. Pretty easy. If it does not intersect, it means it does not have, have no solution. It means b squared minus 4ac has to be less than 0. So that's the idea behind this question. Let's solve. Here we have y. We replace y here. You have 2 times y minus 4x plus 7 equal to x plus k. That should be 2x squared minus 8x plus 14 have to be x plus k. Right? Now we can send everything to one side. You will have this. You will have this minus x plus 14 minus k has to be 0. So 2x squared minus 9x plus 14 minus k have to be 0. Now this is my a value, my b value, and my c value. So we place back in this main equation. You have b squared is minus 9 squared, which is 81, minus 4 times a times c less than 0. That should be 81 minus the value of 8 times 14 minus k. So simplify, 
Um, let's expand. So 8 times 14, that should be 112. So 81 minus 112 plus 8k less than 0. So 8k has to be 1. 81 minus 112, that will be minus 31. Send this over here, become 31. So k has to be 31 over 8. So this is the set of values for k. k has to be less than 31 over 8, for which it does not intersect the curve. Okay, that will be your question. Uh, number 10, in relation to, I think there's a bit of uh, tangents, intersecting, and then also quadratics at the end.